Uh, certainly a tough one tonight. A lot of uh, momentum swings early in the ball game, back and forth, you know, quite a bit. Uh, congratulations to Cal, tip of the cap there for hitting number 30 tonight. That's that's an outstanding milestone. What a, what a great year he has had for sure. Um, seemed like their their home runs came with a couple guys on, and, and uh, you know, ours were solos, but um, some great at bats late in the game. Again, effort has been outstanding. Guys are just continuing to battle. Um, we just came up a little short tonight. Tim created a lot of traffic out there tonight, but what do you kind of root the struggles of not being able to cash in in some of those moments? Well, yeah, I mean, we, we did, you know, we were able to cash in a little bit, but just not enough to, to, to crawl ourselves back uh, close enough in the score. Um, and, you know, I think, uh, again, that w what we're seeing from at bats are, are great, and, and we're getting. Uh, the traffic there, we're, we're, we're looking at hitting the ball the other way. We're doing the things that, that we want to try to do. Just, you know, tonight we, we weren't able to get, you know, um, close enough at the, at the time. Dan, you, you saw their A relievers, like all their, their main leverage guys, and, and you really did put a lot of traffic on. I mean, does that say something, though, at least, that you're in the, the process is right, even if the results aren't? Yeah, I mean, 10 hits tonight. Um, I think uh, the guys – like you mentioned, they were up against their their best, and they were battling. And uh, you know, they had to make several moves. I, I think that they didn't anticipate uh, because our guys battled so so difficult tonight. So, um, you know, it was a it, 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 these are the tough ones to lose um, because the effort was there, the, the the battle was there. We just didn't come up on the right end uh, end of the score. You felt some frustration with George, his body language after a few of those tough knocks. What did you see from him? Yeah, I, you know, um, <clears throat> I thought he battled. You know, he had the, uh, I thought um, it looked strong to me. And, and uh, you know, I felt like he was keeping us in the ball game, and he, and he was. And, uh, um, you know, we just, uh, uh, we weren't able to get enough going early on enough uh, to, to keep the score in our favor. But um, I thought he was strong enough to, to get us where we needed to be. Even after he gave up the three-round bomb, he kind of righted it. You know, gave you got out of the inning, gave you a couple of scoreless frames. He steps on the mound in the sixth. It's looking at a quality start. You know, he's only allowed three. It just and it just kind of fell apart from there. Did you see anything though that was he tiring or anything like that? Just... No, I thought he I thought he looked strong still. I thought his fastball was good. I thought he came out tonight with one of the better fastballs he's had in a while. Um, and uh, you know, it just it just didn't go his way in the sixth, and and uh, it was a tough inning for him. It was. I mean. Tatis just looked like he just ambushed a fastball, like he was looking something, and it just leaked middle right there. Yeah, I mean, you look at their lineup, and and uh, <laughs> you know they've got some veteran hitters in there, and, and guys that that uh, you know are going to use the whole field, and um, you know they're 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 tough hitters, they're tough outs, and and uh, you know certainly they they proved that tonight. George, you know that they make as much contact as any team in, in the league. That's not going to steer you from filling up the zone, though. Is it? I mean, th that's not going to impact your approach. Would you say? Uh, yeah, I just got to be more fine. Um, really came down to two pitches. You know, I was supposed to go in on Tatis. I ended up yanking it down the middle. Um, four seam just wasn't quite up enough to Machado, and you know, you know that's five runs right there. Uh, and you know, the guys that got on base. Uh, you know, curveballs, I wasn't quite getting it down in the dirt. Kind of gave them a chance to put a put the bat on the ball. Uh, they, a, did, they did a good job getting it in play. Um, yeah, I mean, it really came down to, like, three pitches that I missed and, you know, five runs on the board. So, um, but, yeah, a team like that, I just got to be more fine. And, um, yeah, they don't, they don't swing and miss a ton. So I just got to be, you know, really quality strikes in the zone. It looked like you were still out there letting it rip. I mean, the velocity was up. It looked like you felt good. Just yeah. Sometimes mistakes get hit harder than... Exactly. Uh, yeah. So, like, recently, mistakes have been, you know, a little more than they have been um, in the past. So, it's just a challenge. I got to, you know, just try and be better. Um, yeah, it sucks when you miss spots. Um, and then a result like that comes out of it, so... Is it frustrating too in the two strike counts? I mean, it seemed like they were able to make a lot of contact when you were. I feel like most of their hits were two strikes, honestly, curveballs, whatever. Um, yeah, just, you know, I'm really just trying to execute. I'm like telling myself, like, get this down, get it down, get it down. And, you know, just not quite there. And they just, they can get to it. Um, 
yeah, I just got to be better in those spots. I really just got to 0-2, 1-2, just really, you know, just waste a pitch, really, to be honest. Um, then I can go back to some other things. But it sounds like it's easier said than done because you know what you need to achieve. Yeah, that's the frustrating part. Like, I know exactly, you know, what I got to do. It's just, it's just one little pitch there and there. It's not going my way, so. With Cal, I know we've talked to you a lot about just the success that he's had this season with 30 homers two years in a row and what he does with you guys as a pitching staff. Just what can you say about the season that he's having right now? Yeah, uh, what do you have, 27, 30, and now 30. Um, it's really impressive. Um, Cal's the first one here every day. He's the last one to leave. He works harder than anybody I ever met. Um, yeah, he means a lot to the team. He does so much work with the with the pitchers, scouting hitters and everything like that. And you know, he he comes up big when we need him. So he's you know huge player to have on your team, and um, he's just a you know a great teammate too. Overall, I think that's the best thing about him. Thanks, man. That's it. Here.